Taking a live look at SFO, TSA says it expects to screen about 6 million people through the holiday weekend. Ground Force Lindsay Ford checking in with some of the last minute travelers at the airport tonight. She joins us live a little bit more. Hey, Lindsay. Hey guys, um, it's still a steady stream of people coming into SFO to fly out for the holiday. You can see behind me there are some people waiting to be picked up by their loved ones and friends. And tonight it's been sort of the same vibe earlier, calm, which is a good thing. I'm assuming people are getting on time to enjoy the holiday plans. And as of late right now, SFO has had 10 delays and only one cancellation. Jacob Janid's family arrived at SFO from the East Bay Wednesday afternoon for their trip to Los Angeles. He says family time is especially important during the season. I mean, us being together, that's it. Uh, under one roof, having dinner, laugh, um, spend some quality time with, with their uncle, with their grandma. Janid is traveling with his wife and two daughters. They plan to have traditional Thanksgiving meal with their relatives in Southern California but also pay a tribute to his Lebanese heritage. He says he will be serving what he calls green leaves, which he describes as stuffed grape leaves. It's like very famous traditional dish we do uh, anytime the family gather. Nina Ramirez is also flying to LA to see her family and boyfriend. She's going to be staying with her grandparents. My tia is making a turkey. Um, yeah, classic uh, Thanksgiving food probably. But it's not her favorite thing on the holiday menu. I'm not a big turkey fan, so probably the sides, the veggies, <laughs> and the dessert. And Ebnu Lar, Femi Ledger, is flying to Park City, Utah to meet up with family and friends for a more wintry Thanksgiving. She said they're going to go snow tubing for the first time. Even with the other activities we're going to try, we're all going out together to explore. And I also talked to some SFO employees and that even though this is one of the busiest days for holiday travel, they were really surprised that it was calm and that they're also happy that people are making their flights on time. So, hey, it's a good thing down here at SFO. Back to you guys.